So about a month ago, the IKEA finally opened in Denver. If you've been living under a rock and don't know that it's open and you live in Denver, it's down by Park Meadows, you should be able to see it from like miles around. It's a huge, massive blue building. Um, if you don't have an IKEA where you live, I know how you feel because we have not had an IKEA here in Denver for three years and I have really, really missed one. Um, I love IKEA. IKEA is amazing. Obviously, so does the rest of Denver because, um, I mean, it's been open a month and yesterday we went as a family. It's, um, it was a Sunday. We went about two o'clock. We had to stand in line to get into the parking lot, <laughs> but it was really efficient. I was really impressed with how they had, um, organized the whole thing. They, um, they had people directing traffic and they changed it so that you went into the store one way and you went out of the store another way, which I thought really worked really well. So the reason I dragged the family to Ikea um, was because I wanted to reorganize my office space a little. Well, not reorganize it. I needed something extra. I needed um, another bookshelf because I just subscribed to a Photoshop magazine and I'm going to need places to put that and I've been sort of storing all my photography books and project notebooks um, haphazardly piled all around my desk and I wanted a desk, a, a new bookshelf to deal with that but I don't really have that much space around here for um, sort of that kind of shelf so it was going to have to go under the window and the result of that is that um, I had to get rid of the curtains. So um, I thought I'd try to show you what it looks like now. So there it is now. There's no wind curtains anymore, which I actually really kind of like. Um, and that sword there that's hanging there, that one, that used to be up above this big shelf thing behind me. And um, it sort of got lost there because it was hanging horizontally and now it's hanging vertically and I think it looks much better. And I actually like it better without the curtains because um, I get more light here at my desk, more natural light, which I really like. Um, so I put some things on top of that shelf. My Murlocs that's sitting there still <laughs> over the cat box that nobody uses. <laughs> no one uses the cat box. And then there's, um, so the shelf, you can see where there's two magazines already. That's where I'm planning on putting all the magazines that come from my new subscription. And then there's um, some photography books and some notebook space underneath. So um, it's not really that huge of a remodel, but it does, because um, I didn't have a shelf there before, um, and I had like dark curtains hanging down on either side. And I kind of really like the the space. Um, I'm going to have to put something up above there now to, uh, and I'm working on getting a panorama printed um, that I shot um, in Lofoten this summer. It's expensive though to do it the way I want to do it, so it might not happen for a couple of months, but um, I'm working on figuring out how to get that done the best. And I have a friend in deep earth photography who takes like cave photography and he lives here in Denver. I actually went to high school with him in um, Scotland and he um, uses a place down in Pueblo. So I'm going to call them and see if we can get things um, organized. So while I was at Ikea, I found an office chair, but um, I'm going to go pick that up on Friday because there were so many people. Oh my God. It was like I think we were estimating, I'd like to see some real estimates from the IKEA people, but I think we were estimating um, having probably about 3,000 people through the cash register an hour uh, by what we saw. Um, it was really efficient uh, because of the way that the store is laid out. Um, it, it, it was, um, you, you know, you didn't really get held up that badly and it wasn't that chaotic, although the, you were walking in completely in a line throughout the store. And the checkouts were great. Um, we didn't wait more than 10 minutes, even with all those people and everybody checking out. So I don't even think we waited 10 minutes. I think it was more like five minutes. So yeah, so that was really good. But I picked up some other things. I picked up um, some candles because Ikea has awesome candles and they're not really expensive. 
Um, so I picked up some candles. These ones are actually for a specific purpose. They're to go in my um, little shell holder. These are shells from Lonely Bay in New Zealand on the Coromandel. Um, I've transported them over the course of two trips um, back here. Um, they're lovely shells. They're like, um, they're not, it's like sand, uh, shells in the process of becoming sand. So the candles are for in there. So I can't wait for it to get a little darker at night so I can use that. Um, also, I really like on my table to use a bowl of water full of floating lights. So I got floating lights. I always need oodles and oodles of tea lights. So I got tea lights. And I like napkins. <laughs> and so I got some yellow ones, some green ones. I think I'm being influenced by Lacha's color scheme. Um, so to counteract that, I went back to my traditional purple as well. So, well, it's like a, I don't know what kind of color that is. I don't know if it's considered purple. It's like a purplish color anyway, purplish pink. Um, it probably has an official name, and I'm not very good at those. So um, I was really pleased because with the bookshelf, um, the Happy Put Together last night, and all those candles and... Um, the napkins, I didn't spend more than $95, and I thought that was really pretty good um, because the bookshelf's good quality and it matches my stuff, and candles can be really expensive, so I thought that was a good deal. Um, yeah, so that was my trip to Ikea. My, I'm super impressed with how they handled that much traffic, and I hope there's less people there on Friday so that I can actually find a salesperson to help me get the desk chair that I want. So yeah, super excited. Um, Talk to you later. Bye-bye.